So you may have heard before that 0.99999, if you let the nines go on forever, that that is the same thing as one. Or another way that's said is that 0.9 repeating equals one. This is true, I mean, it seems very odd. On the right hand side, we have one, we all are comfortable with that. But the thing on the left seems to be less than one, right? It's not quite there. So in fact, it is true, and there's a lot of different ways to prove it. Some of them use a little fancier math. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to prove it using just math from elementary school. As long as you can do long division, you can solve this. You can prove that this is true. So let's go ahead and do it. So the starting point for this is the fraction 1 third. So what is 1 third as a decimal? Well, maybe you remember off the top of your head, but if not, let's just do it real quick. So I'll take three and I'll divide it into one. Of course, three goes to one zero times. So just like you did in elementary school, put a decimal, put a zero. Okay, now three goes into 10 three times. That gives me nine with the remainder of one. Okay, again, just like in elementary school, you added another zero. Drop the zero down and keep going. Three goes into 10 three times which leaves me with the remainder of one. And I think it's clear at this point, if you kept doing this, you would keep getting threes over and over again. Okay, so one third is the same thing as zero point and then three going on forever. Or a short way that we write this is we do 0 0.3 and then we put a bar over the three. And that means the three goes on forever. Okay, let's go ahead and take that and see how we can use it to prove that 0 0.9 repeating is one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite one using this. So here's what I mean. If we take one third and we multiply it times three, well, of course, we all know that that equals one, okay? But let's use what we just did, right? One third is the same as 0 0.3 going on forever. So what would I get if I multiply those two things? I can just multiply three times each of the individual terms. And of course, that's going to give me zero point. I'm gonna get a nine when I do three times three, another nine, another nine. And of course, that's gonna go on forever. So there we go. We just proved that one is the same thing as 0 0.9 repeating. And the important fact was that one third is the same as three repeating. So there we go. That's the way you see it a lot is by using one third, but that's definitely not the only way you can do it. In fact, it's not hard to see you can do exactly the same thing in a slightly different way. So let's go ahead and do it. So let's start with this time with the fraction one ninth. Now, what is one ninth as a decimal? Well, you know, if you're like most people, you probably don't remember off the top of your head what one ninth is as a decimal. So let's just go ahead and do it. I think we can see, of course, nine doesn't go into one. It goes into 10 one time. So I go ahead and do that, and I get a remainder of one. Again, I add a new zero, drop it down. Nine goes into 10 one time. And again, you can probably see what's gonna happen here. Each time I add a new zero, I get a new one up top. Okay, so there we go. One ninth is the same as 0 0.1 repeating. The one goes on forever. So maybe you can see already how we're gonna use that to again, prove the exact same thing. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so we're gonna do exactly the same trick. So I'm gonna take 1 ninth, and this time I'm gonna multiply it by nine. So of course, 1 ninth times nine is just one. On the right here, I'm gonna rewrite 1 ninth as what I got above. It's 0 0.111 going on forever. I think this one's even simpler to see because obviously if you multiply nine times each of those digits, you're gonna get a nine. So that becomes 0 0.999 repeating. So again, Maybe a little nicer way even to show that one is the same as 0 0.9 repeating. So I hope that's helpful. If you're interested in these kind of videos, if you like these kind of weird, quirky math topics, please leave a comment below and let me know and I'll be sure to make more for you. All right, thanks everyone and have a good one.